Welcome to a Tea Time Show with me, Mark Tillerson. Today uh, I'm covering how to add a site to Google Analytics. Um, so I'm going to walk you through uh, how to get your analytics code um, and then some other uh, common questions we'll cover later on. Um, how do I add multiple websites to Google Analytics? Can you have two analytics codes on one website? And can Google Analytics track password protected websites? So I'm going to assume that you already have a Google Analytics account. If you don't, just head to analytics.google.com and follow the steps. It's pretty straightforward. Um, once you are in your account, you'll be presented with a, a kind of home view like this. Uh, we need to head to admin. And then the structure here is uh, we have a Google, Ads, uh, Google Analytics account and we have multiple properties and each property has multiple view, uh, views. So what we're doing here is creating a new property. So a property is a website or a web app, uh, for example. And all we do is click create a property. We say it's a website. We give the website a name. So this will come up in the list uh, later on. Make sure you pick the right protocol uh, and then add mysite.com. Industry category is optional. Um, let's just assume you're automotive and then put your reporting time zone in. This is important because uh, if you are in the UK or the US or wherever you are, uh, this is going to report visits on particular days of the week. And obviously those days of the week end at different times if you're in different time zones. So make sure you pick the right one. Uh, click create. Okay, and this is how you get your Google Analytics tag. So uh, what you need to do here is if you copy that, um, you'll need to then go and add that to your website. So there are a few different ways of doing this, and it, uh, multiple ways really, and depends what your website is built with as to exactly how you do this. Uh, the, the kind of fundamental basic way of doing it is that you add this tag to every page on your website. So if you're using a content management system like WordPress or Joomla or Drupal or Magento or any of those, um, usually you would add this to the theme. So uh, if you subscribe or check out our channel, uh, there are other videos of how to add this tag, uh, how to add the analytics tag to uh, multiple different uh, types of, of uh, CMS systems. Um, the other way you can do this is with Google Tag Manager. So assuming that you have Google Tag Manager on your website, um, if you don't, I would recommend it. It does make this really easy. Um, again, uh, another video available to of how to add Google Tag Manager to your website. Um, but if you have Google Tag Manager, you literally just create a tag, put in the ID uh, of this, this part here, and then uh, Tag Manager will pretty much do the rest for you. So can I add multiple websites to Google Analytics? So the answer to that is yes, very simply. Uh, you keep just creating additional properties um, until you have all of those websites uh, added that you wish. Um, you can only create uh, 50 properties within a Google Analytics account. However, you can create multiple Google Analytics accounts, which pretty much will give you an infinite number of uh, websites that you could create um, Google Analytics uh, accounts or Google Analytics properties for. Can you have two analytics prop, uh, codes on one website? Um, yes, you can. Um, I would question why you would want to do that, but there are circumstances uh, I appreciate and I have come across some of them where you may want two Google Analytics tags running. Um, so you just need to be a bit careful with that. Um, obviously, the more you add, the more requests you are adding uh, to that page and you may slow the page load time, which is uh, really important for conversion rates and the sales and leads that you might be generating through your website. So I would be very careful about doing that. But in principle, yes, you can add multiple Google Analytics properties to one website. Can Google Analytics track password protected sites? Uh, yes, in principle, no reason why not. Um, so if you have a membership site um, effectively, let's say it's a forum or something and you have to be a member. Um, and the analytics script basically just fires on every single page uh, whenever it loads. So as long as the page is loading and the script is firing, then it will report page views to your Google Analytics property uh, for your password protected site. 
Um, so yeah, pretty pretty basic. Um, but uh, if you do have questions about this or you're struggling, uh, you can find us. Uh, we do consultancy and training on Google Analytics. Um, you can find us at tillerson.co.uk um, or do ask questions in the comments and we'll try and help. Um, if you are stuck with a particular problem, maybe related to this or not with Google Analytics, then ask in the comments and maybe we'll do a video for you one day.